I'm rooting for Julia because she's beautiful. Listen, man, I'm I'm just here <laughs> to watch some Tecroni and cheese. They both got drip. This is true. Oh, again, nice hit confirm with the. I could tell you tried to go for the slide. Nobody home the missing put. That fine suit getting beat up by heels. Oh, into the mid, caught him ducking. And just like that, worth the wall. Push him back, though. And about 30 seconds left on the clock. Again, to go for the low. Oh. Oh, my poking. God. My man's just poking. That party crasher is a freaking gross. <coughs> poking right through. And again with the down back four, really starting to pick away at each other's ankles here. Nice duck, no launch, though. And slowly back on towards the hard duck there. Oh, Actually wow. could have gotten a punish. I think he was trying to go for bow and arrow. Oh, I can oh, hear. Oh, full string. I just hear out there the crowd going wild. 1-1 one, one even here. That whiffed. I did not expect that to whiff while standing three. You got to come down to the lab, ladies and gents. You got to come and see. He's trying to throw out some of these crouch dash mix up, these uh, crouching mix ups. This is a CV response. So far, not really biting too much. Oh. Ooh, into the snake edge. Give me that. Down three again. Hop kick. No punish on the hop kick. Bow and arrow, sir. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, we, no, we don't break here. Mad Axis. It immediately went for another throw, and that's going to be the floor break. Get got. Wow. <laughs> okay, you know what that means. It's time to start checking his pockets. What that basically means is that he's going to start checking pockets. That was literally two throws in three seconds. <laughs> and he won the round. Nice plus frame, it. slowly starting to chop away at these ankles again. Nice sidewalk. Oh, the counter hit off the mid. Caught him mm. guessing. Not quite to the wall. While standing three, trying to catch him. On oh, DF2, caught him trying to approach. Oh, he's got wow. those? Yes, he does. No, doesn't get the dash in. What a combo, though. Solid combo. Definitely would have did him some good if he got that full conversion. Because that could have gone down to the floor. Oh. And he might have actually been able to get to the wall. Full string, party crasher four. We punish, we punish oh, those, my friend. Look at that. We punished those. Rapid strikes at the end. Two, one, two. one even. Ooh, we'll call him guessing FF3. Winner of this round takes the first set. We are 2-2. Two, two. Oh, with the counter hit, nice conversion off a of QCF. One. Oh, he dropped well, not it Not quite, but goes early. for a bow and arrow anyway. Julia privilege. Mad Axis. Oh, nice. That power crush would have actually killed him. Oh, and another bow and arrow. This this is gross. Oh. What a freaking read. Oh, my God. And, and not quite he dropped. dropped. That actually would have been a gross conversion. That would have been sick. You know he was coming with the rage art. Yes, he was. That's unfortunate. Props to Vesper. That was sick. One O in Joe's favor, though. Let's see if we're going to a game. Let's see if he's going to. Bring it to 2-0 or tie it up. Well. XIT's own commander is up one nothing. He's so gifted. Look at him go. Oh, he was re he really wanted that F2-1. <laughs> he really wanted that DF2-1. I'm very impressed with Vesper. This this is awesome. Good oh, for God. him. He's having himself a great Oh, night. with the side switch. Ooh. Skadoosh. Oh, he's getting launched for that one. Yes, sir. We punish bow and arrows around here. Look at this, the methodical little scoop jabs to keep it going across the map. Like, them combos other than Nina's are like some of the hardest in the game. Oh my god, Whiff punished him with the Rager wow. Drive. That was a fucking gross. You know he's really hurting from that. I mean, he's still holding it down pretty solidly. He just managed to get robbed in that last game. Yeah. My oh. man's is going for bow and arrow again. <laughs> My boy. Oh, Superman punch in the face. Again, big duck. No launch, though. Slowly back him towards the wall. Side effect. Another oh. floor break. 
Didn't get a big conversion, though. Oh, Pockets. caught him ducking instant while standing three. Pockets were checked. Hey, listen, man. He he, he established the fact. Oh, my God. Acid rain. We might be going downstairs. Not quite. Not quite. Again, with the party crash, I put the pressure on him. I'm trying to get away from this wall. Another instant while standing three. Yep. Joe with the 2-0 lead, but not the life lead currently. Again, just trying to put the plus frames on his face. Keep him where you want him. Right against the wall. Power crush into the wall Ooh. bounce. And downstairs. No more yeah, floors to go. break. Not quite. No full bow and arrow. Oh, nice sidestep. Wow. Again, trying to go for instant while standing three. Trying to catch him ducking. Plus frames. There we go. That is now three straight. 2-0 in Joe's favor with the Julia. And it's, it's looking rough for Vesper right now. It really is. Dude. Honestly, I would have thought the first thing he'd at least want to do is switch stages. At the least. Because even though both of these characters definitely are very versatile on a stage like this with their wall carry and their floor breaks, they can really do damage. Mm. But none of the damage has gone his way. And he hasn't really been able to s swerve the momentum in his favor to try and fish for any of these big combos. It's been like real small damage on his part, and a lot of the big damage has come on Joe's side. Yeah. A lot of Bow the and fights, arrow. Uh, oh. We're very, very close, though, down to, you know, a couple seconds determining the final, but he got all three of them. Yes. Oh, he actually could have committed. If he committed two hot kicks, that would have been death. He did not believe. <laughs> Full strength trying to put the pressure on. Oh, I respect the attempt at the whip punish. Vesper up one nothing, trying to bring it back. He's down 2-0 so far in the set. We break throws, my friend. No touchy, no touchy. Nice sidestep again. He's starting to he's he's aware of some of these magic four attempts. He's really favoring that instant while standing three here, trying to catch him guessing. Oh wow. Again into the slide with the side switch. Double oh. slide. Give me your ankles, bitch. Wow. Nice shoes. Slide, slide, and the throat cut. We break no heel. touchy. No touchy. Back it up. Nice punish. Nice punish again. Tried to hit confirm it. Nobody home. Hello. Oh, wow. That was an interesting interaction. Oh, what a duck. Again, big duck. No big launcher, though. <laughs> Sir, no touchy. Back it up. Socially distancing. No big punish. Of Didn't go for the full bow and arrow there. <laughs> and again, he's really favoring this instant while standing three, trying to catch him ducking. With the float, no big float, though. But he's two up here in this game three, so he can bring it back to a 2-1. It's looking that way so far. And 10 seconds on the clock, so he's he's sitting really comfortably. There we and go. There we go. 2-1 on the board. Him to make it 2-1. And stage select. So now we're definitely going to see a stage select from Joe. Yeah. Vesper definitely wanted to stay on that stage. Doesn't go for infinite. Chooses Violet Systems, now, which I think is a reasonable pick. Vesper has to win. And if he mounts this incredible comeback, he has to win twice because he lost already. Joe yes, sir. has never lost. Yes, sir. So this is potential last game unless he brings it back. Maybe the grand finals. We don't know. But it's two up in his favor. <laughs> Again, DF1 from the Pokemon. You got to ride the momentum. You just 3 0 oh, Nice sidestep. Going back in trying three, to stay alive. Two. That's a good way to be. Ooh, oh. Nice sidestep. Again, big launcher, DF2-1. No, drop the combo, but gets an IWS three force troubles, and party crasher because wind button. Yep. <laughs> you know, that, you know that elbow. You, you do, you'll give him another one. What do I do after that? Again, and after that, another one. <laughs> Third. Oh. oh, and went for the wall bounce. That it's a that is gross. The fact that that's safe. Tried oh. to go for the conversion. Went oh, for the wow. side switch. Nice. 
That flowed right through with the side switch, right into that combo. It was beautiful. Got him with the, oh my god, hit confirmed war drum, and that's now two straight. Just like that, two straight. This could be match point for Commander. Could be match point for the Knight. He's up 2-0. Nice sidestep of Magic 4. He's really, he's he's not a big fan of this Magic 4. Get this bullshit out of my face. No thank you, sir. He's just doing a lot of poking with down 4. Oh my god, raw bow and arrow. And finally got the shotgun. Caught him on wake up. Oh, we were up and to another rage. bow and arrow, and that and is seven golden letters to take it at the end. A 3 0 perfect finale to clean. Sour Piggy will be proud. The tournament. And that is your top three of the Vortex tonight. Ty taking third, Vesper with second place, and Commander taking first a with the Julia for the first time. The perfect 3 0 to end it. That was uh, a 3 1. 3-1. Yeah, for the final uh, set there. He definitely held it down, but I was – I'm going to be rough. I thought it was going to be a rough one because he was he's very commanding with his Julia. But once again, to everybody who did come out to play Tekken with us, this is probably one of the biggest brackets we've had in a yeah, while, let alone the fact that it was stacked from – Ty, Vesper, Commander, Blitz, and now we got B-Sun in the mix. Yep. This was a hell of a bracket to start off with. played a hell of a night tonight he did. so far. He really did. I